Hey, I'm here with another one and we're looking at Bera Chain. Now, I have spoken about this one in the past, but I want to cover it again because it's a big one. It's on testnet, meaning that it's a free one. And now in early June, it might be your last chance to jump on Bera Train and farm portion of the airdrop. Bera Chain is a DeFi focused compatible layer one blockchain and they have raised a little bit over 200 millions in three rounds and their current market evaluation is around 1.5 billion. In simple words, it's quite big and the expectations are very high and it's a free to farm airdrop, which I suggest you don't want to miss out on. Hello, my name is Tweretix. In this channel, I talk about crypto. If you like the content, make sure to subscribe. Now for the farm, we'll go over the main steps which you can cover to make unique transactions and gain exposure across the bear chain testnet. I say the main steps because there are a lot of uh, small ones which you can do. But listen, the main steps are enough and there are plenty. So don't worry, just go over the main steps and make sure to be active at least two days every week until the testnet is over. And that should be enough to earn you portion of the bear chain airdrop. Quick note before we jump to the guide, all steps to get with the explanation, all correct links will be placed in the description of the video. So once you watch the video, you can proceed to the description and get all the links and all the steps from there. Step one, you need MetaMask for this farm. So if you don't have a MetaMask wallet, download and install one. After that, proceed to chain list and add Bera chain to your MetaMask. Just search uh, Bera here in the search networks and connect wallet and add the network. Then the first step from the actual farm, we need test tokens. The test token here is called Bera. What you need to do is copy your address from uh, your EVM wallet from MetaMask, paste it here, drip tokens and you, re uh, you receive Bera immediately. There are also other faucet and faucet partners which you can use. You can use Kodiak faucet if you're a total beginner because I believe you need to have um, less than 0.05 uh, bear in your wallet to use that faucet, etc. So use faucet, you can use faucet every day. I said uh, be active two days of the week, but you can generate and use faucet every eight hours. So do so, so you can generate a lot of bearer. So you can uh, have the test token to actually go over the farming steps. Step number two, we're going to go and perform a swap. Here we're gonna select a token. Initially you have only Bera, and then I encourage you to swap for all tokens, but initially you wanna swap for STG USDC. So connect your wallet here and then perform a swap. It's a test net. If you get an error, perform a swap again until you get one. Currently it's way better at the beginning we were getting a lot of uh, errors but I'm talking before a few months so now it's way better and everything is uh, quite improved so you can go over the steps way faster than, than initially. Then once you're done with your swap here we're gonna proceed to step number two connect the wallet again we're gonna get some honey as you can see I have STG USDC so we're gonna swap here for honey we're gonna do 50 Again, approve the transaction, wait for the transaction to go through. Pretty much what we're doing here, we're going over, over the dubs here. Once we're ready with uh, the honey, we're gonna go for the pools. But here, I just want to mention again that there are different type of, types of uh, tokens and you wanna acquire uh, pretty much all of them. Because once you proceed to the pools, you can see that there are different pools and we can view more even. So you literally want to add to numerous uh, pools. For this example, as you can see here, we have uh, STG USDC plus Honey. We can add to this uh, pool because we pretty much, uh, that's part of the example now. Uh, and we review and we add liquidity. So we add to the pool. And I, as I said, I suggest that you add to all pools. Spam transactions, guys, don't be afraid to spam transactions. Uh, when it comes to testnet, Airs of farming, you have to create unique transactions, spam transactions, be active and record a lot of transactions. I would say current transactions are like the bare minimum for any test net out there so you can qualify. Uh, I see on the other monitor that uh, my confirmation was successful. So that was a step number three. And then at some point you'll get some rewards. So come here and claim some of your rewards, your BGT rewards. That's kind of the minor step three. Um, additional step, let's say. And then we'll proceed with the dubs, guys. We're gonna go and borrow some honey here. We can deposit and withdraw and borrow here. So, so let's hit supply here and supply like 10, just for example, waiting for wallet, you confirm uh, the transaction and you uh, supply here. So pretty much 
here what we're doing we're being part of the DeFi system bear chain we're going around and we're testing all the DAOs part of uh, of the project once you're ready here of course you can also borrow money so don't uh, uh, miss on doing that also you can do a repay you can also supply deposit other um, uh, tokens you can perform or withdraw just create unique transactions guys after that as you can see we have the perpetual exchange and here i have even some uh, open orders which i completely forgot about so here open a trade put a stop loss close the trade after a few days open another one etc you have votes here where I suggest you use it and you also deposit here where you should also deposit uh, something like I don't have a lot of uh, honey now but perform deposit here as well use the votes transaction successful you can withdraw of course you should do that as well like deposit like withdraw 20 just create unique transactions go back to a perpetual do another trade etc Another thing which you can do is perform a, a bridge from bear chain to Cipolia. So I suggest that you do that as well. That's step five or six. I kind of lost myself, but don't worry. Just as I said, everything in the description, perform uh, a bridge from testnet to testnet counts as a unique transaction. So yeah, good exposure there as well. And then I'll give you another step, which is more of a developer step. And it's going to give this unique touch to your address. So make sure to go and do that as well. There is a website which is called third web there is link in the description i use it often and here you can deploy a test token on the bird chain test net another token so go deploy give it a name give it a symbol you can upload image whatever description uh, make sure to select test net bear a chain because you might just misclick and launch through some other chain and then you have to go and then you have to go and do do over uh, the launch uh, the deployment excuse me and then press deploy now and your words is going to pop up you can approve the transaction and you're gonna deploy the the token after that you're gonna add it to your uh, uh, to your wallet and then you're gonna move to the next page where you have to pretty much mint your first token you have to you know the total deal with the total supply so let's mint uh, i don't know whatever some number you need some better tokens for this step because the previous one was gasless so don't forget to use the full set like often you can do so every eight hours and here you can burn perform airdrop all kinds of different transfers which i encourage you to do get your token open your wallet import token put the wallet here it's gonna automatically detect it and there we go we have a token here what i suggest is create different addresses send transactions between the different addresses so for example we can get this address here and we can send some of our uh, tokens here to the other address let's say 500 and that's unique transaction you're going to pay gas fees and it's going to be accounted as a unique transactions on on bear chain and this is a token which we have just created here and, and as you can see we have received it on the other address and this is going to count as a unique transaction and this is going to give your address a little bit of a unique touch let's say and here i assume you're an airdrop hunter you have a bunch of addresses you can perform an airdrop just uh, put all the addresses here perform the airdrop all unique transactions so that's kind of a very interesting uh, step which you can do in addition to the actual main steps so yeah that's it with bear chain i hope you enjoy the farm and if you are a new airdrop hunter this one is a very good one to start with because it's free the steps are simple and the potential for good high value airdrop is quite high thanks for watching this one if you have any questions you can use the comment section below as i said all links are in the description and i'll see you all with the next one